That's a good one right there. And that's why you crank in this pre-spawn. We're, we're kind of towards the end of winter into the pre-spawn. And dude, Norman's got these crankbaits, crawl colors. That's what you want to throw this time of year. Look how he's got that eaten. I mean, it's completely sideways. That's why you throw crawl patterns in the winter time going into the pre-spawn because they love it. Especially this red swamp crawl. Look at that one right there. Oh, I'm afraid to get him. Look at that. Sideways, it's exactly how you want it. Pre-spawn cranking. We're late winter to early spring. Really more late winter is what we are. It's February still. And we're pre-spawn cranking. And it's probably one of the most effective ways to catch a big fish. And patterns that I like in pre-spawn and that are proven are craw patterns. And at Norman, dude, we've got three absolute killer craw patterns. Check these things out. So the reason craw patterns are so effective in that late winter and pre-spawn, early, early spring, is because they represent obviously a crawfish. And that's what bass, typically they begin to move up shallow. They're transitioning from the deep area where they've been feeding on shad all year long. And they're transitioning to shallow parts like rock, like what we've got here. And the reason that they're doing that is they're prepping for the spawn. So what is up shallow in the rocks? Crawfish, it just makes sense. So winter and early spring, late winter, early spring cranking has become a lot more popular in the recent years. And as far as color goes, we didn't hold anything back at Norman with these colors. Frank absolutely destroyed them. So the red swamp craw is just that. It's that combination of bright oranges, reds, deep dark blacks with really bright accents in orange and red that absolutely excel in this time period. It's probably my favorite color to crank. So the table rock craw combines really subtle tones, moss, bone, brown, and then subtle orange on the legs. It's got a really defined craw pattern though in brown. Super realistic for water clarity that's a little bit cleaner, maybe stained up to clear. So orange belly craw is just that. It's got a really bright orange belly and it's the most translucent or the translucent of the three. The remainder of that bait makes up a really good dark olive color that's translucent and it's got black crawl markings on the side. Absolutely love that color in really clean water. What are the best three crankbaits that, are, that we can cover various water depths in Norman? Because you know Frank's a Norman guy, he absolutely loves the Norman crankbaits. And we're like, okay, it's gotta be the deep tiny, it's gotta be the middle end, and it's gotta be one of the best pre-spawn crankbaits ever, the deep little end. The Deep Tiny N is probably one of the most overlooked pre-spawn crankbaits out there, and it's because of its size. It's a really small, tiny crankbait, and it runs four to six foot deep. And what's great about it is that you can cover that shallow water column with it right up on the bank all the way into four to six foot of water. So the middle end is just that. It's the middle child of the three, but don't overlook that bait. It runs about seven to nine feet. It's got a subtle rattle in it because it's a lead internal weight with a butyrate makeup. And from that depth range to seven to nine, it fits perfectly. So when you're fishing these 45 degree angle banks, you can transition quickly between those two and hit the appropriate depth range. So the deep little end is, is by far the most iconic of the three crankbaits for pre-spawn fishing. It's one a classic. Paul Elias way back in the day is one a classic on this one. It runs nine to 12 foot deep it still has a really tight wobble and it's an absolute killer in the rocks because of its deflection properties. This three model series in Norman takes the guesswork out of wintertime and pre-spawn cranking.